Now the question here is in iron deficiency anemia there is decrease in hemoglobin, increase in hemoglobin, increase in platelets, decrease in platelet. Now this is a really uh, very easy question. So the answer to this is going to be your first one that is your decrease in hemoglobin. So if we just talk about the iron deficiency anemia, first of all I should tell you uh, there is something called serum ferritin and this serum ferritin is going to be the indicator of the body iron store. Okay, sometime uh, generally in meat they ask about the ferritin. So that is the iron store of your body. Okay, and we should also know that the most of the body's iron is contained in hemoglobin. Okay, most of body's iron is stored in hemoglobin not in ferritin. So there should not be any confusion when such questions are asked. So most of body's hemoglobin is uh, body's uh, iron is installed in hemoglobin instead of ferritin although the storage form of the iron is going to be your ferritin and serum ferritin uh, generally tells you about the iron store. So these are certain things which we have to understand. Now if we just talk about the daily iron intake that should be there, the nearly daily, uh, daily dietary iron intake should be around 1 milligram per deciliter. 1 milligram per deciliter should be there, right? Now, another important thing, uh, if we just uh, try to understand the normal hemoglobin level, so normal lower limits I'll be just telling you. Uh, for the male, uh, yes, it can be around 13, okay, gram per deciliter. Then for females, you are going to be little lesser per deciliter, 11.5. And uh, if we just talk about the babies and if babies are newborn, so newborn babies are generally having high hemoglobin. So the lower limit for these are 15 gram per deciliter. And after three months of the birth, three months of birth, the babies will be having a lower limit around uh, 9 gram per deciliter. This is uh, idea actually. It is not that it has to be hard and fast 11.5 only. So basically we consider that 12 to 16 gram per deciliter is going to be the normal range of the hemoglobin. Okay. Now if we just try to understand the iron deficiency anemia. So there are three stages in the iron deficiency anemia. There can be three stages the first stage stage one here in the stage one you have negative iron balance okay then second stage of the disease is going to be stage two of course and in that you will be having stage of iron deficient erythropoiesis so stage of iron deficient erythropoiesis The third stage, the stage 3 is going to be your real iron deficiency anemia and that's why we can call it as absolute IDA that is iron deficiency anemia. Now I'll be telling you how to categorize these stages. Actually in case of uh, stage 1, the serum iron and red cell uh, porphyrin levels are absolutely normal. There is a decrease in serum ferritin. So there will be decrease in serum ferritin there is very slight increase slight increase in total iron binding capacity okay but your serum iron and your uh, red cell porphyrin levels are normal now if you come to the stage 2 here in this stage there will be yes deficiency in the iron stores so you will be seeing yes reduce serum ferritin because this is the storage form of your iron here there will be decrease percentage saturation of the serum transferritin as well so decrease percent saturation uh, of serum transferritin will be there serum transferritin and then there will be increased now it was slightly increased here but here the TIBC will be markedly increased so there will be marked increase in the TIBC just 
you will be seeing that the red cell looks normal. The red cell morphology is normal in this case. Okay. Now coming to the stage 3. Now this stage 3 is characterized by all features of stage 2 of course. And in addition, there will be abnormal morphology of the red cells. So here, the red cell morphology was normal. But in case of this, all these things are going to be here. Along with, there will be abnormal morphology of red cells. And if we just talk about the hidden deficiency anemia and we talk about the morphology and the uh, coloring of the uh, ID, uh, the red blood cells here. So, red blood cells are going to be microcytic and hypochromic in this condition. Hypochromic in this condition. And we should also tell that the microcytosis appear first and then appears your hypochromia. Okay, so these are certain very important facts on which the questions can be asked. So, we have just discussed the important aspects of the iron deficiency anemia. For more information on the iron deficiency anemia, you can read the explanation given in the bottom.